have people who are on bail for two and sometimes three homicides. And that's not the norm, but there are people who are on bail for more than one homicide. So let's keep to that, right? More than one homicide. There are people who are on bail for more than one homicide and have a long list of other offenses, firearms, robberies, rape, all kinds, okay? Now, I cannot predict if a person will be found guilty or not. That's not within my, within my, I ain't got them powers. Uh, but so long as our court system is able to deal with cases swiftly, then the criminal element will know that when caught, there's a risk of punishment following very shortly. That is key in my view to helping us. It's not the solution, but it is key to helping us deal with the issue of violence and, and, and young offenders. Punishment must follow swiftly. If they get off, they get off. That's a man is innocent until he's proven guilty. I, I not felt guilty by the AG, proven guilty um, to, the, to the jury. Uh, but if we are able to get our cases through quickly, then we will see some salutary effects. As I said, when punishment was swift, you behave yourself, okay? When punishment is deferred to Lord knows when, you, you, you continue doing what you're doing. And, and so that's why our, our efforts to strengthen our judiciary in terms of the criminal bench is so important.